what I want to tell everybody today is uh, we have finished the new software for mm -hmm. uh, for the steel new door. Nice. We, we put the timeout errors in the past. Thank you. The new, the new software will not have that. Uh, the new software is Windows 10 compatible. Everything's mm -hmm. fine. And we've added a host of different functions, Bill. Nice. Things. And inside the NLP, AFB, there now are over a hundred functions. Wow. And uh, the limitations of the steel have been extended up to 25,000 hertz in the uh, treatment. And the limitations of the, uh, of the Adukdor are over 5 million. Say that again. Do we, I can't, can't understand the word. Uh, what perks? Perts? Uh, hertz. Hertz. Thank you. Each okay. per minute. Each per minute. In gotcha. other words, uh, when we have uh, uh, the hertz is um, uh, the steo can do 25 kilohertz. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's thousand hertz. Right. And the Duke door can do over five millihertz, megahertz. Okay, five megahertz, which means five million. And now we we found that, that this can help to open up other dimensions for uh, the mind and it's just a host of different things. We've improved the uh, NLP AFB process dramatically. There's a hundred different things in there. We've improved. I've now made over 180 gigabytes of high resolution video with sound waves that could also be used through the cybermagnetic chair to stimulate, and we've been doing research because a man in Australia found that he, if he used a high frequency, 25,000 hertz, 28,000 hertz, and this is an audio frequency, Bill, not an electrical, but an mm. audio frequency, ultrasound is what he did. And by using this, he could apply that ultrasound to, to the brain with two headphones, and it would break up the plaque in the Alzheimer's brain. Mm, beautiful. So we've been testing this, and we've now done a bunch of Alzheimer's patients, and each and every one of them has had 20% improvement in memory just in the first treatment. Uh, I, and the people who have the old Indigos and the CEOs out there, it's maybe time to upgrade. Well, it's mandatory that they get up to par on their... Up, most updated software before they can put this software in. Is that correct? Well, they, they at least need to get to the new software. Now, let me explain for the people. The new software is not mandatory. If, uh, if you don't want it, you can keep your old software. There will not be a shutdown next year. Nobody, the government has not mandated that we make any change. Nice. Okay. So it's usually around this time of the year uh, but if, if that should change in the next couple of months, then we might have to. But we always make a decision uh, based around Christmas. But right now, there is no indication, there is no indication whatsoever that we will have to mandate mm -hmm. a, a, a massive. So the people who have their old software will be able to keep it. If you want the new software, it will be a fee. And when would or, that, what's the date on that, Desi? It will be coming out within the next uh, two weeks. Okay, thank you. We're doing our, our final testing, a couple of things. But basically, it will be 400 euros uh, for the new software. There will be an introductory price for one month of 350 euros for people to get a, uh, to get a deduction. Uh, what's, yeah. their, what's their best bet as far as downloading it? Right from Budapest Home Office, or what would you recommend? Oh, yeah, they, they, everything's online today. Okay, very good. And they can pay with PayPal. Ten years ago, we had to send out uh, we had to send out CDs. Yeah. Then the ten years before that, we had to send out floppies.